Hello, hello! This will be a quick run through of all the stuff that was added this week. Let's get right into it. Here's a cool mod only item I've never seen before. Nice. Alright, we'll start off with the echo of that. Uh, it, you can click on the map there and then go back one and back two, and it'll bring you here. There's two of them in this room. Pretty good place to farm them. These little guys drop this set, the Hollow Soul, uh, which I'm pretty sure Furrow made. Pretty, pretty good. I like it. Uh, there's actually a good weapon or two in here. Uh, so a bunch of single, single hatted, uh, here's size, so swords are pretty well sized, that one's a little small, it's supposed to be daggers, I'm pretty sure, this one's really cool, love that animation on that, uh, you got this one, the single version of what should be daggers, and then you have the actual dagger version of there, which looks pretty neat, if you had the color on the set for it, I uh, got the non-member armor, which is unarmored, and then a member version of that with the armor plating on it. So, yeah, uh, the belt looks kind of off on that, in my opinion. Uh, just the brown on the belt doesn't really match. If it was a black belt, it would look a lot uh, nicer there, in my opinion. You got helmets, quite a few of them. Uh, now, there is one helmet that I'm not showing here that has a different name. It isn't part of the set, I would assume. Uh, it's the brain in the jar. I'll show you that. It's actually kind of a cool one. Bunch of different helmets to go with that. And also some capes, including this one. Uh, which is really cool. Sad it's not AC tag, but it's a seasonal item. Like everything, a little, you get a little fur, uh, Faro ghost. Faro is the artist. Faro, with a zero, is the character. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got that lore correct. I uh, got back blades. A single back blade. And then a cape. Cool animation, a little fog animation there on the back. I quite like that cape. And all, to, all in all, I think it's a decent set. Here's the brain in the jar. I haven't seen this on my character yet. Okay, that's <laughs> a decent size for it. it looks kind of, it's kind of a funny item you can have. It's AC tagged also and non-member. So good AC tagged item if you're collecting those. The echo of that also drops itself as a pet. I think I pets on, yes I do. Uh, the running animation is quite great for it. In my opinion, that's kind of a pretty cool running animation. And yeah, <laughs> it's a cute little pet. Both the pets are also AC tagged, so that's good. And you got this nightmare fuel right here. Uh, twig with a t weird face from that elf guy. Yeah, uh, that's going straight in the bank. One room to the right uh, is these black lights, and they drop a cape and pet version of itself. Here's just a cape equipped. Uh, they do kind of overlap, so there's just a cape with the size. Not a bad cape. And there's the cape and the pet. Uh, they overlap kind of, yeah, a little bit there. So, there, both. The last set of drops is from this monster, but it's nowhere near the last set of gear that was released. The Wraith of Darkness is what drops off the boss. You got the single version of this, dual version if you have a membership, the staff, the armor, the hair, looks like Kurlong made this, so I might be correct on that, uh, the little hat, the hood, whatever it's called, the matches, and that face looks so weird, and then a morph, morph head, so same thing if you're wearing the armor. A little bit of bullet on there and uh yeah so there's a really creepy set that drops off the boss all right the next thing was added is the void witch set in the future gear shop in the shop is this pet it costs 750 acs and it has a house item on it so what the house item looks like if you are curious uh before you spend acs because there's really no way to see it unless you google it or whatever so there it is it's got a little animation on it with no gap popping up i think lay made this actually pretty cool it's a pretty cool house item to be honest we're 750 ACs, that's up to you to decide. Make up your own mind. Uh, in case you haven't logged in or whatever, here's everything else. I really like this uh, witch armor set. I might still buy it. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, the shading looks a little off to me. Just a little bit. Some of it looks a little... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what to say about that, but it looks a little bit weird. Just a wee bit. Uh, you got some capes, stuff like that. So, some cool stuff in here. Uh, in the shop and it is all going to be rare so make sure you check out that shop in case there's anything you'd want in there speaking of shops there was another one uh, the wedding shop for stretch and amarelli i'm terrible with names just i, I don't know why my brain doesn't function uh, so there's uh this dress there's a wedding dress uh there's hairstyles if you want to be stretch you can you got his head there golden eternal flame rare rarity on the ac version uh, the cold version, though, you know, in case he gets remarried or something, it's epic. I don't know why. Maybe they'll change that. Uh, <laughs> uh, the sparkly capes, 
That's a joke, by the way. Uh, <laughs> you got the Beauty and the Beast beast here with the ring. Uh, Fairy Tail cake, cake, which is non-member AC, and then a gold version if you're gold. And everything in the shop is also rare, so pick that up if you like rares and you like any of those items. If you slash join Mogloween, uh, the map should be in the bottom right corner. I don't think anything's covering it. Uh, yeah, well, it's just the Halloween map, the seasonal one. And you come over here. Uh, she has a pet shop, a brand new pet shop that was added this week. And you can get a free a little uh, alien uh, faro, which is pretty, pretty sick. And yes, it... GB Faro with the capital zero, that's the character. Uh, there's baby Arctic dragons, paladins, a chaos one. Uh, if you have rank 10 chaos, you can get this at. Oh, never mind. Uh, it's not somewhere, it's just right here. It's free. I went to look up where it was. I thought it was a uh, rank 10 chaos. I thought they were gonna do for this pet, but I guess it was given out for free. Uh, you might need chaos, it might be a requirement to buy it for free. I don't know. I think I am rank 10, but yeah. Check the shop. You know, Way Dragon looks sick. I. Don't think it's color custom. And try me on it. No, it's not. Um, the Null Dragon looks sick. You can get that for diamonds slash join Evil War Null. Uh, one word. Really cool. And there's also another one for Legion tokens in the Underworld if you want that. Now there's little bank pets and a bunch of cool stuff in this pet shop. A lot of chibis. I won't go through them all. Through them all. Uh, you can come and check this out yourself if you'd like. But yeah, really cool pet shop there. If you like Faro stuff, I, I personally do. Uh, there's a lot of sick stuff to get there. Here's a Legion Dragon in the Underworld. Looks pretty cool, and it's only 500 Legion tokens, so you can pick that up if you would like. It's also a seasonal rarity. They're adding so much seasonal gear to this game. It must be difficult to have to add that back every year, unless they have it on an automated uh, scheduling thing. But yeah, that's crazy how much seasonal gear they're adding to this game. The last thing that was added with this update, I don't really agree with I don't I don't like this, this is really expensive uh, is the Midnight Masquerade gear was added to the Wheel of Doom uh, there's a whole set of gear you see generally what it had here I don't think there was uh, uh, there's a few weapons and stuff for it you can check out the Wheel of Doom merge shop yourself if you're interested uh, it's all very overpriced and there's no way to actually get it by just spinning the wheel you have to purchase it with your potions in the merge shop a potion is valued at roughly 200 ACs per potion, so 25 potions, yeah, that's pretty expensive for, like, just an armor, yeah. I know I upload this video on Sunday, and it's a weekend server boost, but if you're playing on Sunday, until midnight server time, there should be double XP and everything else, so if you need to level up or get some rep or gold, good time to do it is right now. A uh, few more hours you got after I upload this video, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That was everything that was added this week. I'll do another one of these next week if you like the video. Like it if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And there'll be more content like this coming up in the future. If there's any other videos you'd like me to make, leave a comment down below. And uh, I asked people what kind of music they like from Nintendo. And I might have picked one to use as the background music for this video. Appreciate all the replies on Twitter. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Use my critical code Corey X in Fortnite if you're playing that game still. Bye-bye.